learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to Describe recording data and organizing data. Learn to mark tally bars. Describe a pictograph. Interpret the value of pictograph. Define information or data using pictures to calculate. Pictures can be used either horizontally or vertically to give the information or tell a story. Tally bars. Tally bars. Children, to get particular information from the given data quickly, the data can be arranged in a tabular form using tally marks. It is denoted by a standing line. Data. A data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information. Data can be classified into two types. They are raw data and grouped data. Raw data, the information which is collected initially, is called the raw data or unclassified data. Grouped data. The raw data which is organized in a tabular format is known as grouped data. For example, in this class of 40 students, some students like apple, some students like orange, some like watermelon, some like grapes, some like mango, some students like papaya. The table shows the list of favorite fruits of every student. Now let's organize the data, that is, how many of them like mango, papaya, orange, grapes, and apple. This process is known as organizing the data. Let us now tabulate this information. In the first column, write the name of the fruit. In the second column, put down the tally marks. And in the third column, write the number of students. The number of students who like apples are eight. So put eight tally marks. Remember after fourth tally mark, the fifth tally mark is entered as a cross line, cutting across diagonally all the four tallies and it's counted as five. Then write eight. Next, the total number of students who like grapes are seven. Put seven tally marks and then write seven. Similarly do for the remaining fruits. Finally, count and write the total at the bottom. Shaheen is getting Anu to calculate the number of books read by the students in the Neelam reading project. Yes, ma'am. But how do I do it? I'm going to show you how to get the information or the data using the graph. That will be interesting. Look at the graph and key below that tells you that one book in the picture stands for three books. We are going to calculate to find out how many books did Rohan read for the month of January with the help of the graph. I can see five books for the month of January. If each book stands for the rebooks, then five books multiplied by three equal to 15 books for January. Good. Anu, now can you find the data for February, March, April and May? Yes, I can. February will be two times three, which is equal to six books. March will be three times three, which is equal to nine books. April will be 4 times 3, which is equal to 12 books. May will be 2 times 3, which is equal to 6 books. Good. Now can you read graph to find the data? At the library, teacher and the librarians are writing down the data of the new books ordered for the library. Children, look at the graph and give me the information required. There are three different types of books. Yes, we have New Math, English Language and Hindi. Each book stands for 10 books. How many mathematics books are there? The column shows 8 books. So 8 times 10 is equal to 80 new mathematics books. The graph shows the English language book as the most. Yes, you're right, Rohan. Can you look at the graph and tell me how many English language books are there? The column shows 10 books. So 10 books 10 times is equal to 100 books. The column shows 6 Hindi books. So 6 times 10 is equal to 60 new Hindi books. Which books do we have the most for the library? The column shows the English language books as the most. Good. What is the total number of new books in the library? We can add the total. 80 books plus 
plus 100 books plus 60 books is equal to 240 books. We can also add the number of books in the three columns. That is 8 plus 10 plus 6 times 10 is equal to 240 books. Very good, Anu and Rohan. Congratulations! You have learned to use the pictograph to read and display data. It is easy and interesting. Use pictographs in your daily lives.